guys, Mr. Bowman here. We're looking at 2.6 algebraic concepts. We're looking at the 2016 exam from NCA written by the NCQA people. And we're looking at the achieved questions only. Um, just a reminder, you can pause this video at any point if you want to slow down if I'm going a bit too fast. So question number five is what we're going to focus on to start off with. Question number five, write the equation x squared minus 8x plus 10x in the form of this. So this here is a perfect square, and this question has asked us, can you complete the square? So let's jump into the equation, x squared minus 8x plus 10. So when you're completing the square, the first step you need to do is you need to find one half of the b value, or the value in front of the x. So one half of that is going to be minus 4. Once you've found that value, you need to square it. And that makes sense because we're dealing with perfect squares. We're going to need to square it. There gets us to positive 16. And this number here, that's the number that we need to plus and minus into our expression above. So let's get into that. So we've got x squared minus 8x, and at this point here, that's when we're going to go plus the 16, and then we're going to go minus the 16, and that there is adding 10 on as well. So just a reminder, plus 16 and minus 16 is equal to 0, so we're not changing the original equation at all. Now that we've done that, we've got two parts, the last bit and the first three parts. So the last bit here, that's easy to deal with, we're just going to add them up. But this one's a bit trickier. So we're now going to factorize, and we need to think, well, what numbers multiply to positive 16, add to negative 8. And I'm hoping you're thinking negative 4 and negative 4. So that means our brackets, x minus 4, x minus 4, and this lot here comes to minus 6. And because we've got the same bracket twice, we're going to make it a square. That there's going to be x minus 4 squared, and that's going to be minus 6 after that. We are now on to question number six. This question, find the discriminant of the quadratic equation x squared equals 10x plus 3. So let's start off by jotting down that equation, x squared 10x plus 3. Hopefully you remember what the discriminant is. If you remember the quadratic equation, x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. The discriminant is the part that sits in that square root. So in our case, we're looking just at b squared minus 4ac. Um, before we jump into that, we need to rearrange this equation so it's ax squared plus bx plus c form. And we're going to do that by going minus 10x, and we'll do that on that side, and then minus 3, minus 3. So that means x squared minus 10x minus 3 will be equal to 0. Um, we can pull out our a, b, and c values. So we know that a will be equal to minus 10. b will be equal, well, gosh, just realized, a, mm, positive 1, b, minus 10, c, minus 3. So discriminant, b squared minus 4ac, that's going to be equal to negative 10 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 3, that there becomes 100 plus 12, that there is 112. So our discriminant is 112. It's positive. That means there'll be two answers to that solution. Okay, we're now on question number seven, and this has got one of those log equations. And what's really important is switching between forms for this equation. So just to recap, log base of the answer is equal to the power, and we can switch back and forth from base power equals answer. So let's do that for us. So if our equation is log 8x is equal to 2 thirds, that 8 there, that's going to be the base. The x is the answer, and that 2 thirds is the power. So that's going to become 8 to the power of 2 thirds will be equal to x. We've now got a negative, or sorry, a fractional power. We can switch that into its third form. So remember, if it's x a over b, the b goes in the square root sign, x to the power of a. So we can do that here. So we've got 3, the cube root 
of 8 squared is equal to x. The cube root of 8 squared is 64 is x. And the cube root of 64 is 4. We are now up to question number 8. And we've got where would the graph y equals 12x squared minus x minus 6 cut the x axis? So it's trying to say where is the x intercepts? And at the x-intercepts, we know that y is going to be equal to 0. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out that y, substitute in 0. So our equation 12, or sorry, y equals 12x squared minus x minus 6. As I said, the y goes away, the 0 comes in. 0 is equal to 12x squared minus 6, I'm sorry, minus x minus 6. A is equal to 12 b is equal to negative 1, c is equal to negative 6. I'm going to use the graphics calculator for this, but you can factorize, use the quadratic equation, or complete the square as well. When I put that into my calculator, I'm going to get the first value of x. It tells me 0.75, but I'm going to put the switch in into a fraction, 3 quarters. And the second value of x, negative 2 over 3. And again, I can use that switching to fraction button and decimal button on the calculator to get those two answers. Lastly, question number 9. And we can see we've got one of those log equations similar to what we had in question number 7. So our equation, we get log base answer equals power. And we can switch that to our regular form or index form base to the power gets you to the answer. So let's get into our equation. So log x 216 is equal to 3. That x is the base. 216 is the answer. 3 is the power. So we're going to get x to the power of 3 is equal to 216. Um, now we're just going to move that cube over to the other side as a cube root. So that's going to be x is equal to the cube root of 216. Final answer, x is equal to 6.